Welcome to the iOS XR series. In the lesson number eight today, we're going to take a look at uh, MPLS layer three VPNs in the iOS XR. It's going to be a little bit different from the iOS, regular iOS and iOS XE. And uh, you know that we've been building our uh, MPLS core over the last few weeks where we've built MPLS core in the ISP North. We build ISIS as, as, as our IGP. Then we build the LDP as a label protocol and then multi-protocol BGP. Today we're going to look at two sites, VPN site, Maze Site 1 and Maze Site 2. And let's take a look at the site on the top. We have a Maze Site 1 and that as site is advertising its loopback IP address of 192.168.1.33. It is directly connected over the interface gig 00, zero uh, using prefix 15180/24, and we have dot one on the CE side and dot two on the PE side. And we're going to take a look at the Maze CE2. That is this second side connected to the MPLS core, and the Maze CE2 is connected to the PE2 and that site is advertising a prefix of 192.168.2.33 and that is a loopback IP address just for the demo purpose and it is directly connected over the slash 24 prefix which is 15.1.9.0 slash 24 and the IP address on the maze site 2 is dot 1 and on the PE2 side is dot two for the prefix of 15.1.9.0 slash 24. So we're going to move ahead and first of all configures our CE sites first. So first of all, we're going to configure OSPF today for CE to PE protocol. So basically we're going to configure May site one in OSPF area zero and may site 2 in the OSPF area 0. So we're going to have a CE to PE pairing using OSPF between may site 1 and PE1. And on the bottom half, we're going to have OSPF adjacency between the CE2, which is may site 2 to PE2. The idea is to then have an adjacency between the site 1 and site 2 over the MPLS core so that they can exchange routing pro routes between the two sites. So we're going to use today is what we call a layer 3 VPNs through the MPLS core. We all know how MPLS layer 3 VPNs work in the MPLS core, but today we're going to take a look at from the perspective of iOS XR. So the config and implementation is going to be slightly different than compared to the regular iOS or iOS XE. So just to recap again, we're going to have um, PE1's interface directly connected to CE1 in the VRF, that is the VRF maze in this case. And on the PE2 side, we're going to have the directly connected interface with CE2, that is maze side 2 in the VRF maze. We're going to start config on CE1 and first of all, just create interface loopback 0 and, and assign it IP address. And that's going to be 192.168.1.33.32. And next we are going to go under the interface that is directly connected to PE1 and that is interface gig 00 and assign IP address as per topology. That is going to be 15.1.8.1 slash 24. While we're here under the interface, we're going to place this interface in the OSPF area 0 as per our requirement and we're going to use command IP OSPF 1 area 0 and we're going to create a set it to the network type as point to point. 
Next, we're going to create the routing process on the CE. And in this case, we're going to use the routing process of number one, and we're going to set the router ID of 192.168.1.33. That's the Lubeck IP address of CE1. Just quickly recap the config in the CE1. So here we see that we have uh, set up the Lubeck IP address, which is the 192.168.1.33.32 and we set the interface to point to point and we place the interface into OSPF area 0. Next is directly connected interface this is gig 00 and with IP address of 15.181.24 and it's in OSPF area 0 and router ID is set in the routing process. So that's the config with um, CE1. So let's jump on to CE2. And similarly, we're going to first of all, uh, create the interface loopback zero and we advertising IP address of 192.168.2.33, sorry, in this case, and it's a slash 32 loopback IP address. And next we're gonna go to the connected interface gig 00 and set the IP address to 15.1.9.1 slash 24. And we're gonna create the routing process on the CE2 and uh, set the routing ID to the loopback IP address of 192.168.2.33. <laughs> and uh, finally, we're going to place both interface loopback zero and interface gig 00 under the IP OSPF process of one in the area zero, set the interface type to point to point for the OSPF. With the config complete, we just gonna just take a look again in the running config and make sure that there is no typo, basically just to review quickly and to see that we have all the setup correctly on the CE2. So let's take a look under the interface loopback zero. We have the IP address set, which is 192.168.233.32. That is correct. And we are set for the OSPF area zero and the interface uh, type for the OSPF is point to point. Interface gig 00 directly connected is set with the IP address as per topology it's in area 0 and we have the network type point to point. So with the both C's config now done let's move to the PE1 and uh, the task here is that we're going to place the interface on the PE1 in the OSPF area 0 and that's going to be in the VRF May. So what we want to do is create a OSPF adjacency between the CE and PE because we're using OSPF as our CE to PE protocol. So we're going to go under the PE1. We're going to set the config for VRF maze that is our layer 3 VPN and then configure it for the OSPF. So let's first of all create the VRF itself. So we're going to here go in the iOS XR, the VRF creation is similar to um, XE and th there is a difference in when it comes to the route target and etc. So we're gonna create the uh, VRF and go under address family IPv4 unicast and set the import route target 2010 and export as the same route target. So once we set the route targets for IPv4, we're going to come out of the uh, VRF config and uh, next we're going to go under the interface of the PE1 that is directly connected to CE1 that is gig 0002. We're going to set the interface under the VRF, place the interface under the VRF maze and set the IPv4 address of 15.1.8.2 which is the PE1 side of the link. So interface gig 000 is going to be 15.1.8.2 slash 24. 
With that set, we're going to commit the config and show that we commit its iOS exa. So next we're going to create the routing process OSPF, in this case 100 on the PE. Next we're going to go under the VRF and that is maze. And then set the area, that's going to be zero. And then enable the interface gig 0002 that is directly connected with CE1 for the OSPF. Set the network type for the OSPF to point point. Commit the config. And next we're going to take a look at the show OSPF adjacency. We look that we see that the OSPF adjacency for the VRF maze is up on the PE1 and when we look at um, show OSPF VRF maze routes we see that we have received on the PE1 from CE1 OSPF route that is 192.168.1.32 slash 32 from the directly connected next stop of 15.1.8.1 via interface gig 000 so we have the adjacency with CE and we have received inbound the route from CE. I look forward to see you in the next video to complete the series of layer 3 VPN.